watch out in case someone's reading your mail. But who... What a great song that is. And also to a great wrestler as well. Um, yeah, beer, Colin Blaze, CD Tazzy Stratham, Dead Retro, them video games, and Angie Oreo. Thank you all so much for your hosts. You lovely, lovely people. If you're not already following most of them, like yeah, beer, Colin Blaze, JD Tazzy doesn't stream with as often Stratham does. Uh, them video games do uh, hopefully tonight, Angie Oreo, L Red Reigns, and Lucky Mucky Ducky. Thank you all so much for those hosts. And if you're not following them, give some of them a follow because they're awesome people. So good afternoon. I am Lord Team Maker. Uh, I am here on behalf of the Game One Play Itself podcast and content creators. So yeah, so last week we finished up the room. Uh, we played a bit of Into the, Into the Gungeon as well. So it's only really fitting that if we finish up the first room, Go for the second. So here it is. So have you all ready to join us and help us out on this one? And I hope you're well, I hope you're good. So click to begin. So click and drag the mouse to look around. Double click on the note to focus. Pretty much the same as me. Oh, mate, still full of bloody cold, but, you know, I'm not too bad, I guess. How are you, Wookie? 
I just saw something interesting. What is the interesting? Abs, Barrett Von Jeff, and T Paul and Twenty. Thank you very much, host. So, if my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now, you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room, and I trust in your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. So, click the eyepiece. So, you got to find the lens again, because if, when we had the lens last time, that's what helped us see stuff. Hey, Bill of the Ages. Next month is the 10th anniversary of GTA 4. Bloody hell, it's been that long already. Brooke vs. Son of Art Engine in the short. Thank you very much for the hosts. Double click the other to explore. How you doing, Bill? Double click on the round box. Push the button, okay. That puzzle looks like some of the objects can be moved. <laughs> yeah, ten years like ten years already. That's just it's crazy. Weaves, thank you very much for the host, and Bill is grand, taking a coffee in a stream break, nice. We had some goodish news today, I've spent more money and probably spent a little bit more after this stream to get a game called Candleman on Xbox. Which looked really good. Uh, but also I bought the uh, four Devil May Cries on PS4 as well, so they might be some streamable games as well. A peculiar looking item. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to find things that are otherwise hidden, just like the first game. A small piece of shaped metal. I, I don't know, I don't think so, to be fair. Just try to find why this piece should be used. I mean, that's not normally thing these way, is it? Normally, rock stars way doesn't seem to fit. So, we've got a letter here. That oh, might be down there, that's why we fit it. But okay. Hi, Michael. How you doing? Hi, Jay. Yes, yes, they are. So, Mr. Rigby from the 23rd of October 1883. Suffice it to say. Alright, alright, I'm just reading first of all, tutorial, thank you. Uh, I do not share my colleague's faith in you, in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as, as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach, but as Mr. De Montfort is. From the same needs must as the devil is driven, the uh, devil drives. It falls to me then uh, to brief you in your ungodly task. And as you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of uneducated men such as yourself. Uh, I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It must prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. More pieces of shaped metal, right? Okay, so how are you doing, Jay? What are you up to? How's life? Mm, 
Right, okay, so do I try this other? Doesn't seem to fit there. That's, that doesn't seem to fit there either, okay. Right, so that's the north, south, east and west bit, okay. Yeah, the piece in the middle is missing, so we have to find that. But yeah, the other good news that I found out today, what that happened today, was the uh, the BAFTA nominations went live today. And so yes, I will be going. Did anybody see the nominations? Because we'll be talking about them a bit more on tomorrow night's podcast. This looks like it belongs somewhere. Plus, uh, next Tuesday, there might not be a late night lard. Uh, depends whether I'm in Birmingham or not. There's an eye. The shit. Perhaps the code is hidden in the room somewhere. Batman by Gaslight DVD. Yes! Yeah, Rob got that. Um, he bought that last week. I uh, got from Bad Gaslight. That was a graphic novel, wasn't it? Let's read this because um, see, I never thought there would have been a five letter code in there using the um. using this. It was, yeah. Hello, Ollie. How you doing, man? I have no real surprises in this nomination. Yeah, not real any surprises, but there's no disappointments in there, apart from maybe one. But even then, that's a minor quibble, because it, graphically, it does look good. So where would this hint be? Where around this room would that be? Yeah, Norman, Edith Finch. I've not played it, but I've heard so much about it. Where do we look? There's a five letter code around here somewhere. So where do we look?
But yeah, people, if you want to give us a hand on this one, you're more than welcome to jump in and let us know. You played this on mobile. Yeah, they're a great mobile games, aren't they? So yeah, any any hints or tips on this one, you know, let me know. Hi Vicky, how you doing? Hmm. So there's got to be a five letter word, a, a five code, or a five letter code in here to deal with the points of the compass, you know, north, south, east, west. Yeah, yeah, you can always use the hint system. Yeah, I can do. I try not to do it this early, but you know. Needs must, needs must. Yeah, we know it has some kind of code. Yes. We know that. But what's the code? Oh, lovely. Yeah, chemo, chemo is so much fun, isn't it? See, I think it would be news. Perhaps the code is somewhere around the room. Okay. Again, not helpful, is it, really? Is this the start of your last set of them? I should use the eyepiece, see if I can spot the code. See, I was trying to use a bloody eyepiece and you didn't let me. Not yet, dude, not yet. Got one more cycle next month. Oh, this is uh just playing Fortnite all morning until I left the hospital. Did you get wins? And thank you very much, more bro, for the host. How you doing man? So S S E S W N, okay. So S E S W N. Third was the best you could do. Nice. Hey, that's still damn good. Looks interesting. Maybe we should take a closer look. It's a medallion. Empty. That's in the box, isn't it? Hebrew, thank you, Patriarchy, and Michael Patson for the host as well. Okay. Yes. As if that's a problem, having help though, Vicky, really. <laughs> we all need the help. How are you doing, man? 
we had today so far. I watched nominations for the uh, the BAFTAs. I got tickets for the BAFTAs, so that was a shit ton of money. I bought the uh, Devil May Cry collection, including the fourth number four with special edition. So I did that, and uh, I will be getting a thing called Candleman after this as well. You guys first solo win. Yeah, I saw the solo win. I didn't watch the video though. I'm solo right now, Vicky. Demon Star, thank you very much for the host. Has been disabled at the moment. Why? What did I do? So for as American football casually at Curtis and laughs no discernible reason for you. See I wanna go see the room and um disaster artist. And I know Lucky Mucky Ducky and L Lucy have said about going. At one point, the the, uh, the theater is that it shows a. KB Vera, thank you very much for the host. The, the patron saint of Tick Whippy. <laughs> Throw some, I've got to get some plastic forks when we do go, though. Angel. <laughs> yeah, it might be because you're in a party, Vicky, at the time. complete <sighs> you have done well to emerge from the crypt sound of both mind and spirit though I fear this is only the beginning of your trials gave you that idea <clears throat> alright so I got boat I'm on a boat and it's going kind of fast and okay so there's still no sign of my patience where's been in my frustration I even sealed the foremast myself uh, falls there and the fog is so dense I can barely see my own deck from the crow's nest let alone <coughs> the Helena uh, regardless I have had the gun Deck, uh, run out of cannons in ready. Run out of cannons in readiness. It is good to keep the men sharp. <laughs> yeah, the MC4 um, explosives.
Ralf Smogoki. Are we quoting the room here? Because <laughs> say, like, not seen it, so I couldn't tell you. I did see uh, he was trying to do his um, audition for the Joker. And first we go, what the flying fuck? <laughs> Right, so not there. There, maybe? No. It's in the Masons. Yeah, I sort of remember like 10 years ago. I mainly just remember the football. Where do we go from here? Because there's got to be a key somewhere. <coughs> a keyhole even. That won't spin around, it won't press in. The ship's wheel is missing, so we need to find the ship's wheel. Okay. We also need to find where this key goes. Which that looks like that opens. Because it didn't look like there was anything else around. Those model cannons aren't positioned very efficiently. Right, okay. And that's where the key goes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Demon video game, thank you very much, the host. Okay, so that moves there, it's like that. Probably. So I imagine this is going to be It's got to be that one, isn't it? It's got to be that.
Why is it not that one there? Makes no sense. Not looking key inside the model ship, I should pick it up. Okay. So that's probably why. So then we can actually see what the model ship is that we can actually put the bit into. But there's a book here as well. Have a look at that. Lots of books. <laughs> it's been 30 weeks at sea, and the crew go restless at our lack of plunder. Uh, I would would not portray it. I share these concerns. A privateer's license is no small investment, and my investors will be will not be happy without return. Uh, according to the prisoners we took off the San Espesito, uh, we should find the Santa Helena in these waters, fresh out of New Granada. Uh, they were simple swabs, ignorant for of all save the workings of the decks, but it spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. Gave them place among my crew. Cannonball. Cannonball. What's this? A mountain, a moon, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarter of galleon at full sail? Uh, uh, with each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simply as turning a corner. Will you be following my path or forging one anew? Uh, what sights mu you must have witnessed, if my own experience is, my is any guide. I'll keep leaving notes and I urge you to do the same, that we might know if our paths, paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, there is something not quite right with this place, though I struggle to define what. Some earthy tang of reality is that, that is quite missing. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and the grease paint. No worries, Vicky. <laughs> Liberal. <laughs> are we getting oh are we getting a bit uh, rowdy in the chat sat there that's what we'll have because that that over there opens this here and so that will do that right okay no, I can't make me. <laughs> Mod fight. No, now steady. <laughs> yeah. You guys. Right. Hang on. All right. Okay. Right. So that's it. That's how it goes. Okay. Jimmy's up being wrestled and hijinks are being gone upon. You see, it's all great me trying to fix the puzzle when I've already not got the, the items for it. Right, okay, let's, what's this? have to find the other bits around there right is that what we're, we're, we're thinking
that's where's that last bit? Hi Brendan, how you doing man? There were clues on what position you need to place them in around the box. Some tri small triangles with small triangles inside them. <laughs> ah, the blame lord comes out. <laughs> So there's got to be some like diamond or something that goes in there, right? Because we got the other bit to put a diamond part into there so it clicks together so that's the diamond that will go into the other part right are we is that what we're thinking or is that what i'm thinking why does that look like there is a bit on there we need to drop oh because we need the wheel for that to go to there to drop that bit down and then we look John D good afternoon welcome all right so what's the hint next socket on top of the chest something must fit inside it yes we know that We've worked that bit out. The socket on the chest here is the diamond that we get from over in the chest in the ship there. A strange cylinder, unless this is it. Right, one second, they're going to have to be back in a minute. I've just been called. One moment, I should just put it on the pause screen.
I'm back. Was it loud? Sorry. <laughs> I scared the shit out of you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you in the queue first for? Wait. <laughs> Say I'm back, yeah. Do sorry about that. Right. So where were we? We were... Ah, that's where the, the hint was. Like, like, I don't want to use it there, I want to use it over there. It's a bit here. It's not where I want to use it, stop it. So I can't use that there, can't use that here, can I? I don't remember the sound. Wrap scaling, yes. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Gotta turn my mic down. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so that goes into the chest. Uh, okay, it didn't take long for us to track her down. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents to overhaul uh, head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. Uh, with no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. We we, we sighted her sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could inter intercept. Now we wait for the tide. Okay, so it was... Two north. Two west, three south. Smith points. <laughs> Smith point coming back, is it? Even the elements turn against us. Uh, passage through the Cape. Tooth took us four miles west, so four. And it seems we soon sighted the masts. I bet you did. Uh, four miles to the north of us, so four, four west, four north. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank, so four, two, four. No, so four, no, four, four, two. Uh, very ballast, we'd easily overhaul her. If only it's a cursed fog should lift, and that's where the key will happen. So. see mm. 
Right, so that's where the key goes for that. But we still need the key. Because we need to do this. We need to go like one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, and then up to there. But we have no key to do that. So right, I'm going to pop off for Grossens. Be back in a bit if you're still on. Yeah, it should be on for about another hour, mate. But where is the key for that? You don't tell me. Did I hear something else? That pillar behind the chest, there's something odd about it. Is there? Is there really? Oh, so it shows the key that's there in a completely different place. Yeah, see you soon, Ollie. You have a good one, mate. So this bit's got to use the key to go from that part, right? Right, so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. But yeah, what have you guys been playing? Uh, so we have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon, and there she was, six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down, and she fled east two miles, back towards the Cape. Uh, now she lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the Cape again. So, six, two, one. Oh, I had a tinkle. Spider! Good afternoon, matey. Because I've got to do that chest bit, otherwise, this won't work, right? Where are you guiding us now? Third diary entry, I should pay close attention to what it says. I did. Not bad, mate, not bad. Thank you for the host, sir. Uh, how's it going? If you're not already following Spider, do so because he's a very, very clever man. Something there. Oh, yes, okay. It's like close enough. Um, I do like it. I think it's a little bit more. I'm I'm not thinking as logically as I was last couple of weeks. Probably because I'm not sure whether it's me being thick or me being ill. 
But I do like them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go some nursery. Thank you very much, house. Head normally goes on there. Aha, so we found the steering wheel. <laughs> Why can't it be both? It probably is both at times. Third one has more, lots of depth to it, more windows. I'll have to check see whether it's on um, Steam or just on mobile because I got these two, I think, as part of a bundle. I'll have to double check, but... That this opens up. See, I wasn't completely figured out by looking at that one. <laughs> now there's a fourth one out too. Need to see if it's on Android yet. Wow, nice. opens this bit so there's our note here if you take the note there so the Santa Helena came apart on the rocks uh, 1600 hours as she heaved as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at terrible rate sounds disgusting <laughs> only there were no rocks hmm. we approached as close as we dared to try and take on survivors but only one swam clear the wreckage He's some sort of scholar, a wild-eyed wreck of a man in tattered blood-stained rags, clutched in his white-knuckled fist uh, with some sort of sculpture that he babbled of unimaginable power and worth. It seems our prize may have not gone with the Helena. I've had it moved to my quarters for safekeeping. Mm, okay, so what else? We have a wait. This does very slightly give me mist flashbacks. But it was way, it was way more approachable. Yeah, mist. Again, it's probably something I'll look at for a stream later on, which might work. But that's like the witness as well. The witness was a, was a very, very sort of puzzly game. It's a natural tendency of this world to twist itself into ever more elaborated arrangements. Like the spirals of a vortex at once both the pattern and the system. It seems as though each room is itself a part of a wider apparatus. You must tune the room to find the glyph and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned, but to what purpose? I find the explorer. The prisoner. Mm. The opening line that led to give me flashbacks. Well, that's bad curry. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got to put the weight onto one of these bits, right?
So I can't spin that, can't change that. So you've got to do it aside then. New object, small disk. that open which gives us another weight which moves that a little bit closer takes that But yeah, I mean, I enjoy these sort of games. Uh, you know, they're different rather than just shoot, you know, just plain old shooting or just hitting stuff up. It's, it's a different, different sort of pace, you know? Does that go that way and that go that way? Or am I completely fake? It's a weight. Hmm. So it doesn't go on any of them. I thought it would have. Unless, of course, I have to put it back in there. So, the inside, the third weight doesn't seem to match any of the markings on the scales, yes. So, it goes somewhere else. Does the weight go in there, or does the weight go... Over there. So where does the weight go? Because we've already dealt with the boat. It's large try examining the weight. Okay, then we'll have a look at the weight again. Oh, was that? Aha! The changing around. Oh, I see. The triangle. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> right, so now we have to find the next piece. Piece that goes in here. So where are you, Peace? Because that will open this one, surely. Uh, how you doing, Kolb? Uh, surely. 
Is it something to do with this to bring something up there? Or am I overthinking this bit? There's a drawer on the edge of the box is left lid. There must be a way to open it. Right, okay. Oh. Ah, yes, I see. Right, so the bits I was looking at, the circle, moved those bits around. Right, oh, I see. Right, I think I've got it now. The same puzzle from the first box in the first game. Because it's got to be corners. Oh, wait, 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 It's me being a stupid. Really is me being a stupid. Hang on, hang on. We've got to. Like that. And then, like that. And I hear a dling. Breeze his way. Thank you very much for the house for the one follow. There we go. That should be it. Hype. <laughs> See, I get there in the end. Oh, I see. Yep, I see. Right. That goes in there. Then we... Push that into there. We spin that round. That goes into there like that. Oh, wait. Let's check the weight again then. It's very clever, these type of games, aren't they? I mean, they're not sort of make you think, oh, well, I was really, really stupid for that. It's, it's very, it does very logical sort of steps. But yeah, if I haven't mentioned before, there will probably be no late night lard next week. For I believe I'm out for a night out. On Tuesday. And then the week after, there will probably be no uh, Rocket League community event. I'm <laughs> expecting Hellraiser to queue to appear. Hmm. 
because now we need another circle with at least two maybe three pieces in it we just have to find where that is and this is what it's going to tell us uh yeah another socket without a disc it must be hidden somewhere in the box Right, hints. Bloody hell. Something different about the third compartment I opened in the box, right? Aha! What's in the box? <laughs> I'll soon find out. Right, okay, so. Somehow need to spin that around. Right, hints, I've got it. Jesus fucking Christ. Didn't want to wait there for me, did it? Bloody hell. Okay, small weight goes on there. That really didn't open anything though. Hurt your silly anchor. Metal clock spring, okay. So what did that open? Thing there I can see right so that that's going to spring back and there's numbers there Welcome back, Holly. 
Hey Trent. Oh god, puzzles. Baggy Mayfix. <laughs> Baxi game in front of the game itself. Wait, what did I miss? Hey Trent, how you doing man? <sighs> Let's go put the, that back on the boat, shall we? Because I think the anchor, because no way it. But this metal clock spring. Now you may think, but look, we haven't actually seen a clock spring yet, so don't worry about it. Or did the numbers mean Mason? Yeah, well. <laughs> I hope you, you you took the piss sufficiently out of um. Out of Tim last night, dude. For falling asleep again. Ah, here's where the clock spring is meant to go. Welcome in. Thank you very much for the host. Coblops back up Black Ops. Okay. Looks like a keyhole, okay. So we've got to find a key for it. But where do we go from here with the clock spring? Because I think the clock spring's got to be here, do something along here, yeah? Am I wrong in thinking that? Kind of want to get the room free, but it's a tad expensive. How much is it? Is it on? How much is it on thing, Ray? Is it on Steam. Aha! A winding key. Good. No, the only thing you see, mate, is what I have. There's something missing from that component. Uh, 
Okay. All right, okay. Thank you for the host, Ollie. Yeah, no, I don't have the screwdriver, mate. All I've got is this metal clock spring. So that moves that there, but I can't actually use the clock spring anywhere. I did it without even moving my... <laughs> Look around some more, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, it's like... Look and see if there's something else that just clicked open, you know? Because we've got the boat. There's nothing else in the boat. I mean, you can see here and here in the boat is where, you, where we've got to in the real life area. So that's that. We found out that. I found out that. Because uh, that's where the anchor was. Mm. Mr. Large, you were just looking at it, I think. Well, I mean, over back here somewhere. Right, the compartment inside the chronometer is being held shut. I should look around for a box. Around the box or something to open it. Okay. So something around the box to open it. Do the boxes corners look different from the others? I should look right. Where's that one? That one right here? Okay, there's a screwdriver. So the screwdriver will undo this bit here. So that's where we put the spring. that okay so now in theory we should have to use this bit around here right about 250 and that's what we've got to do onto the clock here, right?
got a key. It's much easier with touch controls than a robot and a mouse together. Um, yes and no. It's much easier to move around with a mouse. So now we have to remember, find out where that key goes. Where did the key go? Key goes in here, surely. Go on then, what's the hint? Uh, must we ever use a key somewhere on the box? On the box, right, okay. So where am I being thick? Is it really the edge of the lid? Is that where it is? Anyone has a hole, a hole for a key? Hey, eh? yeah, anyone? Reminds me of all the room, the room escape flash games back then. Yeah, they actually made them reality now. I know um, my friend Letitia works in one. Right at the fucking top there. And it makes the boat. A diamond shaped metal casing. Which would go in here, I suspect. Opens the next one. <laughs> we call that an eight-sided die. <laughs> yes, yes, actually. <laughs> Second room done. I mean, take us about 80 minutes. Mm. So what, about 40 minutes a chapter? Lost at sea. But yeah, what are you guys playing at the moment? Are you up to? Are you playing anything good? Are you playing anything that you think is a bit... Ugh. Metal bar. Ooh. <laughs> Which leads to here. Small token, just Warface and Dungeons and Dragons recently. Need to get back into a few other single player games. Yeah, there's one I've got to finish called Pass Cure. I've been mentioning it on the podcast a lot.
yeah finish that one and um right okay let him wake up and get up from bed on <laughs> yeah i did bypass cure guys All right, game, we're just looking around at the moment. We've got a note from here as well. Okay, so another room, another door, another room. Either you are as lost as I, or more likely you have forsaken me. Another room, another door. Yet never a pang of hunger, nor the welcome respite of sleep. Another door, another room. I keep a tally in my ledger, but I can no longer count the marks. I count the pages. The writing keeps me sane. I, t I tell myself so. I, I did not deserve this hell. Suck at that game, do you? <laughs> yeah, at times I do. It seemed not good. It, <sighs> there's promise in the game, but... Yeah, no, it, it's not great, dude. A gold tower. There's a small slit at the top of the box. Right, okay, let's see what these do. Also, really strange, like it wants to be fun. It's it's trying to be like an uh, Inception, almost, and like Max Payne, but see, I want to be able to move this, because if you move this, then you can move that down to there, so you can move that across to here. You can move that one up to move across to there, and then the middle one to middle there. So I've already worked that puzzle out, which is getting to it. Me to go there. Okay, so is there anything else around the room I need to be looking aware of? A small wooden handle. I think I found it. A gap where the trigger would be. Right, okay. So, key will go there. length of string that's where we ask how long is the length of string it smells like burnt straw it seems like something could slot on here Right, I think that's the fired uh, crossbow, isn't it? Right, let's use that key first. Right. 
the trigger mechanism right okay Can't tie this on yet. Okay. I think I've got to shoot it right in the eye. Hit <laughs> trigger. Wow, shit. So much for on the end of this, what? That? Okay, I see uh, once mighty people brought low by these heathen munders and their plagues they look to their priestess for the will of the gods but the jaguar and the feathered serpent speak to me no more Hmm. It's took me ages to do. Yeah, because it's, it's like, it's going to come after you, isn't it?
idea. Yeah, screw you thing. <laughs> yeah. A small key. Is at the top there. And there's something at the top there. A small key I picked up. What could it open? Exactly. Oh, I know. The chest. A large stone block. We should go back over to there. So the very Mayan adventure feel to it. It's hammer time. <laughs> yeah. I think one more good hard whack of it. All right, hint. I'm doing it. Jesus. A shard of glass for the mirror. I mean, let's try and get a lot of this puzzle done before the end of the stream. Because we've got, what, 22 minutes?
Right, so we've got two symbols to look for. And that's looking directly at the temply bit behind us. Where does this bit go? Because I'm guessing the two symbols will sort this bit out, right? In doubt, do it this way. <laughs> That's the cheap way, lad. Yep. Got it done, though, didn't it? And there is where that goes. All right, ancient dagger, which will be where the dagger bit goes on the other one. Yeah. How do we get back? It's a log sheet. Okay, let's have a look. Schematics. That's <laughs> a medieval technology this week. Hey, they're ancient compared to us now. So that's where the dagger was. We've got a gem to put in there. See, I'm sure this dagger goes into the other box.
I need to find the symbols to turn it back. Down the stairs we go. There's a symbol to turn it back then. That one's gone now. Right, so that and that. Okay. Bit long winded, though, isn't it? Effigy, a small gem. So we notice the gem goes on to the other temple. The straw effigy will go into here. So I'm going now. Lord, no thanks for stream. No worries, no worries, Michael. So we're on for about another 13 minutes. And then it should be Geo taking over with some prey. But I'll be back tonight, 10 o'clock, for some Rocket League. See, the problem with doing that the cheap way is now I have to remember it. No, 10 until midnight, Curtis. I think the code is somewhere on the brown box. No, that's not where I wanted to go. I want to go there. on the table. I 
He's not letting me go onto the table, dude. No, not that box. So you know the gems go there. Can't do anything on the front now. I'm going to have to do the old-fashioned way again, then. I think you might want to look on the ground next to the chest on the ground, maybe. I'll have a quick look in a second, but... I see past lives, future lives, impossible lives. Piece of flint. There we go. I mean, let's have a look at it by the chest anyway. No, I don't see anything down there. I mean, it may have been down around here area, but we got it. We just gotta find something that fits in there now.
shoot the bags maybe. Yes, but no. You already got to change the fingers, symbols in the entry map. What do I keep? Do I keep hitting the bars? Is that what was happening? I can't go round to there, can I? Yeah, no, I can't spin it round. I am blind as my reflection, our gods do not live here. This way brings no salvation, this path. Not for my people. I shall seal them from it. That's for the chest. So something's got to go on to there. That'll break. But we've got three minutes left. Oh dear. We've got three minutes. Metal sh shard ridged hole in the center. Could that be on the outside? I take it with this, you've got to get all of these out, the red mitts around here, the line. It's a skull. It's a skull. It's a it's a it's a skull. It's a skull. I'm scared. It's a it's a skull. <laughs> I tried to sell this log side you <laughs> so I can be of assistance should you get stuck. <laughs> Well, we're at the end of this one, dude, because this one, once I've done this, we are finished for, the, for the, this afternoon. Because coming up next will be Geo with, uh, with Prey. So if we're not already following, give him a follow. And then jump into his stream, because, you know, he'll shit himself.
<laughs> oh, we got there. We got there in the end. We got three done. Some of it I got myself, some of it didn't. But hey, that, that's the way puzzle games go, isn't it? But yeah, I want to thank everyone for joining us so far this afternoon. You're all awesome. Thank you very much for helping cheer up a, a mildly ill man today. As I say, I will be back tonight, 10 p.m. for Rocket League. And it will be another subscriber-only gameplay. So if you're a subscriber to myself or to the Tig Whippy channel and you want to play some Rocket League, appear at 10 o'clock tonight and you can do. And so I will see you all later tonight at, say, at 10 o'clock. Coming up next is Gio with, with Prey. If he's ready to go, we could do a raid. Are you ready to go, Gio? Are you? Are you ready to go? So then after tomorrow, I'll be back Friday night with the podcast. But tomorrow afternoon, I'm trying to sneak in a stream. I should be able to. Now, the poll is on Twitter with either the choice of games of Burnout. The rest of Kingdom Hearts 2.5, if, if you vote for that, I might be able to finish it tomorrow. And then we can start on Sunday, Birth Before Sleep. Alright, alright, you see. Then we also have M is on there. You are ready. Wicked awesome source. Or if you wanted to play alongside this and you had it on PC, Golf with Your Friends is also a choice on there. So this we're just we're under a day now left of voting. If you haven't voted, give it a vote. We'll see what we're playing. Because the Burnout will be the remastered one if it comes in time tomorrow from Amazon. But yeah, so Geo is ready. Let us do a raid. Sort it out while we're here. Okay, and then I shall see you all tonight. Bye.